Hello everyone, Sheila back again, welcome to my channel. I am busy knitting. This is the first sleeve on the little turquoise jacket I'm doing. Look at my wool move out of the, it's stuck in my little bag down here. I'm almost finished the, uh, the sleeve and I'm on to the the armhole shaping on it. That's how much I've done on the armhole shaping. And I have been experimenting with um, my camcorder again because I had one or two um, comments that said that this is the smaller speaker that I did try on the, um, the camcorder and some said they thought this one was better. But some said the larger one was better. And some said there was no difference whatsoever. And I think that myself, I can't notice any difference, but it could be my hearing. Because you know, my, my hearing is 77 years old. <laughs> A lot different to when I was in my 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s, even my 60s. My hearing... Yeah, you get a lot of hearing loss as you get older. And I have that because I can't watch anything, um, films or anything, even on my television or my computer, without putting speakers in. And sometimes the speakers that I put in, I have some that I can put into my ears, the, um, the little these type, you know, those type. Sometimes I have to put doors into my ears because I just cannot make out what is being said. That's on my computer. But then I have an external speaker as well. This is a Bluetooth um, one. Sometimes that's okay, but sometimes I have to put the ones into my ear. So I know it is my hearing. So I'm trying to teach myself to talk a bit louder when I do these videos because... There's a lot of, of my subscribers are like me around about my age and they probably have the same problem I have with the hearing. So I've been testing the, I've opted for the larger speaker because I don't think it makes any difference actually um, to me anyway. So I've opted for the larger speaker using that in my camcorder. But I'm also trying to teach myself to talk a little bit louder. Might make it better for some of the older subscribers to hear actually what I'm saying. And I'm looking at the screen while I'm talking. And my speech is not in sync with my lips. I hope this video doesn't come out like that. But I've thought that before when I've been doing uh, videos. And it's been alright when I've converted it so... Anyway, that's that's what I've decided and it is much better the camcorder than um, having to use anything else because um, I just connect it to my laptop and the video I'm making goes straight into the laptop so I don't have to do anything afterwards. All I have to do is convert it to what I converted to to, um, to put it up on YouTube because YouTube... When they, when you put a video up on YouTube, they, I don't know, they, quality, they lower the quality of whatever you put up. So it doesn't make any difference what quality you record something in. It's, um, YouTube brings it down to what they call standard definition. But I still do it in a high definition, but not quite as high as the camcorder will do. I have it set on a bit lower thing, so it doesn't use the battery up so quick. That's what I'm doing anyway. But anyway, I'm going to have a walk over to the post office later on because I have one or two patterns to post. I've had a couple of patterns um, over the, the new year, which was a waste of time posting them until today because it wouldn't be picked up so... It is morning, actually, it's half ten now, and as soon as I finish this video, I'm nipping over to the post office to post the, um, 
the post-made patterns and I have an order for the, um, well, the little white cardigan and the um, little hat. I had to knit a little, um, little beanie type hat for the, um, the lady called Kath who's bought the cardigan. She's buying the cardigan and the hat. Um, but I had originally made it on the girl's side, buttoned on the girl's side. I made a little bonnet to go with it. But Kath wanted a little boy's hat, so I made a little beanie for the send away to Kath. So I'm going to post your parcel today, Kath. It'll be in the post. I'll probably be over the post office. It'll be about 11 o'clock by the time I finish this, this video. And I'm going to walk over because we are going to get a lot of rain today. And I do want a bit of exercise because I haven't done a lot of exercise these last few days. And that is a bit of exercise walking over to the post office. And I'm trying to see what stitch I'm on to here while I'm talking. <laughs> if I know what stitch I start with, I know it's four purl and four, <laughs> four knit. <laughs> like I said, I got weed this morning and I know I've put a bit of weed on and... When I'm starting to knit things for myself, I don't want to have to knit larger sizes, so I could do with some exercise. And and that is exercise walking over to the post office, because it's a good, probably takes me about nearly 10 minutes there and another 10 minutes back, so it's good exercise walking that. But I think I need to um, to cut down a bit on what I've been eating too many sweet things and things like that, I think. <laughs> but anyway, I'm talking about the little... I'll put my knitting down a minute. I have a little... <laughs> Sammy has the little bonnet that I made. It's on Sammy at the, uh, the moment, you can see. So I'm not... Absolutely, I'm still thinking about whether just to keep that one for Sammy. I wish you'd stop lolling your head around here, Sammy. <laughs> or just to make another little cardigan to go with the little bonnet. Because that's what I, I knitted for originally, to, to go with the, um, the little cardigan. Because I was sick of these little pom-pom hats. I think little girls look. You know, especially little babies look much nicer in a little bonnet. And you know, when I'm looking at things on the screen, I want you to turn Sammy's head that way. But when I'm looking at the screen, it doesn't work that way. <laughs> but anyway, that's little uh, Sammy. So I'm, even if I, I do another little cardigan, I'm going to have to do a little hat for Sammy to... To replace that one because it looks much nicer with a little hat on. Anyway, that's that. And I have one or two little things to show you in a slideshow. Because I've had one or two things sent to me um, to show me what people have been knitting. And I've added a few of my own things in as well. So you're going to see a few of what other people have sent in and some of what I've knitted myself. So I'm going to stop this video for a, a couple of minutes to show you the slideshow.
So that was my slideshow. Don't me I'm on the right stitch here. And now I'm going to show you just another little video of what is in my eBay shop. I've just added one or two things to it. But there have been one or two things there that's been there quite a while. Just for anyone who doesn't know what's in my eBay shop and might want to take a look. That's besides all my knitting patterns. These are sweaters and cardigans, the things that I've been knitting and that's things up for sale. So you can take a look on the eBay if you're interested in anything I'm going to show you now. This is everything that I have for sale on Etsy at the moment. From uh, from the top row, there was a, um, a cream 24-inch open moss stitch cardigan. And then there is a pink rosebud 24-inch cardigan. And then a 22 inch, um, this is uh, the 4x4 four four basket stitch, jacket and hat. And then there is an 18 inch pink, the cable and garter stitch, jacket and bonnet. And a blue, I think it's a 21 inch, that is a, um, a double moss stitch. And then there's a pink sweater with three, just three little buttons on the um, the front. I'm not sure with that one, I think it's a 22. And there's a 22 short sleeve cardigan. And that is the, the yarn ball holder. The boys cardigan. And they are all for sale on my for anyone that's interested take a look you never know you might see something you like so that's what's in my ebay shop and for anyone that doesn't know how to get onto my ebay shop even my Etsy shop, there are a link. You just have to have to look in the um the information on my channel. You have to go into the info, into the about part, and there is a link to my eBay shop. There's a link to my Etsy shop. There's a link to my other channels, and there's a link to my PayPal account. So anyone that wants any information like that, just go into the about info part of my channel, and you'll find all those links. But anyway, um, I need to finish off now and go for a walk over to the post office. And I think I'm nearly on to crossing a cable. One, two, three, four, five. No, I've got another two rows to do. I'm going to cross cables again. But I'll put that down for a minute anyway. And I hope the sound is much better on this video than on the... Um, not the... The previous video I did, but the one before that. Um, and my videos now, when I put them up, I'm going to put them up as um, a vlog with a number. Because it is very hard trying to think of a title for each video. So I've already made a couple since the start of the, um, the new year, since the first. So from this video onwards, this was going to be vlog number one. Or I, have, or I have number one vlog and maybe I might put a little bit extra if there's anything you need to know I put um, number one vlog and I put this one as slideshow and maybe something else like that in it because it does you know I have to think of different titles to put up and sometimes when I put a title in it comes up on my computer you've already got that one <laughs> So it'll be easier as well for anyone looking for a particular video if they just know what the number is that they're looking for. So anyway, give a thumbs up and subscribe and I'll catch you all another time. So bye for now.